U.S. prepares for the most intense naval battles since Second World War, threat of Houthis grows. A researcher at the American Security Project and CEO of Gulf State Analytics, Giorgio Cafiero, published an article in The Responsible Statecraft on the situation in the Red Sea. As Cafiero writes, despite all the power of the United States and allies, they have not yet been able to oppose anything to the Houthis in the region. Yemen's rebels continue to attack targets despite the fact that they are being fought by regular armies and entire coalition that has invested heavily in security. He added, let us recall that the military budget of the United States alone for the current year is more than $800 billion. The Houthis' actions were a response to the Israeli blockade of the Gaza Strip. Therefore, their operation is something like a counter-blockade of the blocker. This is quite consistent with the eye for an eye principle used by the anti Allah group, Giorgio Cafiero said. An American expert writes that the American coalition has already carried out hundreds of attacks on targets in Yemen, including attacks on the port of Hodeida, controlled by the Houthis. However, the Houthis continue to attack commercial ships and warships in the Red Sea, which may indicate the preservation of their military potential. The material also quotes the opinion of University of Ottawa Associate Professor Thomas Juno. Clearly, some damage was done to Houthi targets, but not to a significant level. The Houthis have suffered some losses, but they retain the ability to disrupt maritime traffic in the Red Sea. And perhaps more importantly, despite the material damage they suffered, their determination to continue to impede shipping in the Red Sea did not waver. In total, the United States and allies have carried out 450 strikes on Yemeni rebel targets since the start of the coalition operation, but this has not brought any significant successes for the Western coalition. In this regard, the author of the article asks the question, does this mean that the Houthis are winning in the Red Sea? The US-led campaign against the Houthi rebels, overshadowed by the Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip, has turned into the most intense running sea battle the Navy has faced since World War II, its leaders and experts told the Associated Press. The combat pits, the Navy's mission to keep international waterways open against a group whose former arsenal of assault rifles and pickup trucks has grown into a seemingly inexhaustible supply of drones, missiles and other weaponry. Near daily attacks by the Houthis since November have seen more than 50 vessels clearly targeted, while shipping volume has dropped in the vital Red Sea corridor that leads to the Suez Canal and into the Mediterranean. Wildfires north of Los Angeles have burned 15,610 acres of dry, mountainous land. The fire that occurred over the weekend forced the evacuation of thousands of people across California. The blaze, dubbed the Post Fire, started on Saturday afternoon in the Gorman area. About 1,200 people were evacuated from the Hungry Valley State Vehicular Recreation Area. The wind continued pushing the flames south toward Pyramid Lake, which was also closed. The fire was just 2% contained Sunday evening. No injuries were reported. The cause of fire is under investigation. The National Weather Service issued a red flag warning for northwest Los Angeles County, warning of high temperatures, low humidity, and strong winds through Monday and possibly strong northerly winds on Tuesday. These conditions will be favorable for the rapid growth and spread of wildfires, including the ongoing post-fire complex, the Weather Service said. Multiple structures were damaged and destroyed, officials said without providing exact figures. At least one firefighter has been injured in the blaze, which has been dubbed the Point Fire, according to Cal Fire. 